If you're like me, you like to keep track of stuff. I keep track of all kinds of things. Stuff I buy, like appliances. I keep track of auto maintenance, vacations, things I own, and even important things like medical history. Prior to getting an iPad, I just had a bunch of manila folders and handwritten notes I kept in my desk. And I guess that system was okay at the time, but there's just a much better way to do it now. And it all starts with Apple Notes. Apple Notes is free, by the way, and it's already on your iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I try to put together easy to follow tutorials on how to use your iPad and iPhone. And today we're looking at Apple Notes on the iPad. There's just so much I can say about this app as it's feature rich, powerful, and easy to use. And I may do a deep dive video on Apple Notes in the future. If that's something you might be interested in, let me know in the comments below. But today, I'm gonna to cover five basic tips on how to use Apple Notes. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna go over ways to keep your notes organized, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss that part. Believe me, it's hard to find what you're looking for if you have a thousand notes scattered all over the place. So here are the tips we're gonna to cover today. How to make sure your notes are backed up to iCloud. How to add lines or grids to your notes, which is really helpful if you're using an Apple Pencil to write out notes. How to create, delete, and search for a note, pretty simple. How to scan paper documents into notes, and that's super handy. And how to add photos to a note. And if you hang around till the end of the video, I'll show you how to create folders to keep your notes organized. You know, since there's an entire Apple ecosystem where phones and iPads and computers all sync up together, it's important to know that your notes are backed up to iCloud. So the first tip I wanna give you is how to make sure your notes are backed up to iCloud, and that's pretty simple. All you do is go into settings, go up to your name at the very top where it says Apple ID, iCloud Plus, etc. And then you're gonna tap on iCloud and you're gonna go over and make sure notes is green. If it's gray, it's turned off. You can turn it off, but once you turn it off, it'll delete the notes on your iPad and I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna hit cancel but you wanna make sure that that's turned on. And once you do that, it's one and done. You don't have to worry about it after this one little step. Uh, now everything will back up to all of your devices. And not only that, if you end up buying a new phone or a new iPad or something down the road, once you log into iCloud, all your notes will show up again. You don't have to add them a second time and you haven't lost anything. So it's important to get that first step out of the way. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is how to add lines or grids to your notes. So it's kind of it's kind of helpful if you're using an Apple Pencil to write on so you can sort of keep your writing straight. And it's very simple to do. The first thing you do is go into settings. Now you're gonna scroll down to notes and tap on it. And you're gonna scroll down till you get to where it says lines and grids and you can tap on that. And if you notice, you have a choice of how you want your note screen to appear. It can just be blank white. You can have sort of tight lines, broader lines, squares if you want on bigger squares, that kind of thing. I find for my handwriting that this sort of middle ground line works best. And that is how you add grid lines to your notes. And just remember that. And you can change it at any time you want. You can have some notes that are open white and then some that maybe have lines on them. It's all up to you. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is how to create a note, delete a note, search for a note. You know, the basic stuff you'd wanna do with notes. So you tap on the notes icon and you open up the app. And to create a new note, all you do is just tap on the little square with a pencil in it and begin typing. So that's what we'll do. We'll create a new note, shark. And that'll be the title of my note. I bought this on January 17th from Bed and Bath. And there I've created a note. And if you notice, there's some lines down below that. Even though I typed in some stuff, you still have lines, and if you decide that you want to write on it, you can. This is a great back. 
like that. And that's how you just simply create a note. Now, if you want to search for that note, let's say you're down here in, or you just open the app like that and you want to search for it, you just go into the search bar right here and you type in shark and hit search and here it is. It brings it right back up. And what's really interesting about this is you can also search by your handwriting too. So let's cancel that out and I'll show you again. Um, let's just hit cancel there. We'll go back to say the test note so we're not in the same note. I'm gonna just type in the word yes and there we go. It found the word yes right there. So not only can you search by typewritten words, you can search by handwritten words as well. And that is really, really a great feature. Now, how do you delete a note? It's really, really simple. You have your list of notes here. All you do is just slide across until you see the little red garbage can and tap on delete and that's it. And that's how you delete a note. So it's a quick way to create a note by tapping up here, searching for a note over here, and just sliding to your left to delete a note. Pretty easy. I don't know if you know this, but the iPad can actually scan documents. It's a scanner, and you can scan things directly into notes. So I've made a note here on the Shark vacuum cleaner, and I have my receipt that I'm going to scan into it. So all I do is take this like this, and I tap the camera button up here, and I'm going to type on scan document. And then I'm going to go over here, raise it up, and now it's scanned the document. And I'm going to type, tap save. And as you can see, now the receipt is there. So if I ever want to go back and take a look at the receipt, I can do that. And that's how you simply add a scan document to your notes. And I often scan my insurance policies and, you know, things that I want to keep track of so that I can have it right handy. Uh, and you can, you can do multi-page scans as well. You just keep going with the scanner. So very handy to be able to scan a document and add it to a note. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to add a photo to a note. So let's say you've written a note and you want to take a picture to go with it. Now, you can tap up here and you can choose a photo. So if you've already taken a photo and you want to add it, you can just choose it and click add and it'll add that photo from your photo library. That's one way to do it. Another way is to actually use the camera to take a picture. And this is how you do that. Again, you tap on the camera and you, you tap take photo or video. And then I just put it there, take a picture, click on use photo, and now the photo is in the note. So you've seen how to scan a document into a note, how to add a photo from your photos library, and then actually how to use the camera to take a photo at the time you're making your note. So it's an incredibly handy way to keep track of things. All right, the last thing I wanna show you is how to keep all this stuff organized. And you can do that using folders. If you notice, there's an icon up here at the top left called folders and if you tap on that you'll see a list of your folders and down in the bottom corner is a little folder icon with a plus on it you just tap that and you can create a new folder and we'll create one called appliances and I'm gonna click Save and now I've got a folder named appliances over here and I can just take the shark vacuum note that we just created and drag it over into the appliance folder. So now when I tap on appliances, I get my shark vacuum cleaner. 
And of course, maybe you have a lot of appliances or maybe insurance policies or whatever, but you can drag them and keep track of them so you don't have to go through a whole bunch of notes. That's sort of a bonus tip, but it's really, really a great way to keep things organized. So I hope you found that helpful. Apple Notes is one of those programs that has so many practical uses. And if you happen to have an iPhone, all your notes just magically show up there too. It's just all part of the Apple ecosystem. In fact, I made a video on how to use Apple Notes on your iPhone and there's a link in the description below. I just think the ability to have so much important information available at your fingertips on your iPad is just a giant leap forward from writing stuff down on paper. I stopped that paper stuff long ago and have never looked back and you won't either once you get the hang of using Apple Notes. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video not only taught you a few things, but inspired you to dig into Apple Notes. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.